Well, welcome to Staying Connected this Friday the 8th of October. I'm the Very Reverend Dan Mills, the Dean at Holy Trinity Cathedral in Parnell, Auckland. Well, as this COVID lockdown draws out and the end seems like a way off yet, I think our lives have been changed forever by this experience. Change isn't easy, whether it be personal change, change in circumstances or change in the world around us. Change is often a struggle. It is destabilising, it is uncertain and it can be frightening. Change can often bring about grief. The future is unknown. Change as we face it brings both challenge and opportunity, loss and gain and often depends on how we journey through it. As a world, nation, city, diocese, cathedral, community and individually, we are all facing change in one way or another, in big ways and in small ways. Life is about change, but it's not always easy, is it? Bishop Michael Curry, in his book Love is the Way, Holding on to Hope in Troubling Times, says the following about change, which I find extremely helpful and wise, and it fits in with my experience. He writes, The most essential truth I've learned in my own journey is that none of us has the capacity to walk it alone. We need help from the very source from God's love, and we also need soul companions to help us along the way. I know I'm in the church business, and it may sound like I'm trying to drum up business, he writes. I'm not. I just believe with all my heart and soul that we need a power that's greater than ours and an angle of vision that is greater. We need spiritual energy, the source of love that is bottomless and endless and then we need each other. Right now, as this cathedral community faces significant challenges due to this COVID lockdown, I believe we need each other now more than ever, and we need that spiritual energy and angle of vision to guide and sustain us, and that is the God of love. To this end, Robert Payne, Chair of the Cathedral Resources Board, writes, I'm writing to update you on the Cathedral's current financial situation and the impact of the COVID-19 lockdowns. The Cathedral relies significantly for its operation on income derived from events held in the precinct, both in terms of event hire and car parking. In particular, it relies on income derived in the last part of the year, which is its peak season. This income is used to see us through the first part of next year. We have been unable to hold any events for many weeks now, and the long tail of COVID is putting our ability to hold events during our peak season in jeopardy. We are currently experiencing weekly cash deficits due to the continuing lockdown, and that is placing considerable pressure on us. Our non-ministry cathedral staff have been working reduced hours for some weeks. The Cathedral Resources Board, along with the Cathedral Council, have been monitoring our position on a regular basis and have worked hard to identify all avenues to reduce costs. Our position is now such that we are having to work through some significant potential changes in our support team set up. There will undoubtedly be impact on the things we are able to do over the coming months, whether that be regular cleaning by our contractors, which is currently not happening, the publication of our Trinity Life magazine, which has been cancelled for its next issue in November, or maintenance issues around the precinct and buildings all whilst we endeavour to maintain our online worship services and keep in touch with our community. The Cathedral Resources Board and Council will continue to closely monitor the finances 
and respond as we are able to changing to a changing situation. We thought it important that the cathedral community be informed of the financial situation and we will continue to keep you updated. We also would like to record our gratitude to all those who, to, who continue to give faithfully and to those who have additionally donated to the cathedral over the lockdown period. So in this season of change and challenge, now more than ever, let us remember none of us has the capacity to walk it alone. We need to support and pray for one another, be thoughtful, kind and patient in our words and actions so that we build one another up and be the heart, hands and feet of Christ as we make this journey together. Can I also make a push for those who are not yet vaccinated to do so, as this is the only way we are going to be able to get life back to any normality and to greater freedom. And if you know other people who aren't vaccinated, please help them to do so and encourage them. All of our staff are vaccinated. And so until next time, can I ask you to continue praying for one another, particularly praying for our staff at this time, and to uphold us and each other as we make this journey at the moment. And in doing that, may God bless you and keep you. May God make his face to shine upon you and bring you peace this day and always. Amen.